Good evening, everybody. It's October 21st. We're here at Oliver Reims, Moscato Stadium, for a game against Oliver Reims for Sharon Eagles. It's a warm night, Kevin. It is a warm night there, Wendy. Hello there, Eastern Cable Land and Sharon Cable Land. And Robert Russell's saying to us on the World Wide Web. And as always, this is brought to us by Eastern Community Access Television. Thank you very much. I know I can speak for all the families that were very excited to be able to watch all the kids at the different towns playing. I was at work today watching Mary play soccer over in Sharon. Another shout out to Easton Cable for letting the good people see their kids and relations know. on a TV. It was great. It's a sun's going down, a balmy 68 degrees out there, Wendy. Looking at the forecasts. 68 to 64 to 64 to 63 at 9 p.m. I don't think we'll be here at 9 p.m. Do you? I hope not. Should be over by then. Does the vid allow for overtime, or is it such thing as a COVID OT rules? No, I don't think there's any time limit. It's all about the vid. Four corners. Sharon versus OA. Sharon, our ultimate rival. I don't like North Attleboro. Didn't care for Foxborough. Oh, I hated Sharon. Hated them. Oh, Kevin. Grow up. Shout out Move to the on. class of 1990 who beat Sharon on Thanksgiving football. Special shout out to Wendy's class who lost to Sharon on Thanksgiving football. First time in 15 years. I know. Not that people remember that. I do. Mike Ivanovsky. Best football player I ever played with. Mike, how did you lose that game? If you want to call in, please do because shame. Shame. It happens, Kevin. Everybody has a bad day. Uh, I wouldn't know. My team never lost. Shame. Were you on the field playing? Or sure were you was. On the sidelines playing? Oh, I was playing. Just making Greatest sure. blocking receiver ever. <laughs> uh, when it came to star power in football, I was the furthest thing from it there, Wendell. <laughs> Starting off on the Sharon side, they haven't made it over to the other side yet. Once again, away early, going, dominating against this current opponent. Jim Keen, sound as always, as a sideline reporter doing nothing but watching. You're going to be fired there, sir. Just gave us the LeBron shout out. COVID kick in. COVID kick. I like it. Why not the COVID corner? It's the COVID kick in. I like it. Yes. Back to Brady DeVos. Captain Brady, please. Sorry, Captain Brady. Benny Cohen. It's Dylan Couples. Dylan Couples. To Ben. That's right. You're, you're, you're the play-by-play. -play. I'm the witty oh, color guy. Look at how fast Matias is. I gotta give that number twenty-five. He's pretty fast too. He gave Matias a run for his money. Congratulations to Matias' sister, who uh, was one of the gals that was celebrated for the OA Senior Night the other day. Yes. Along with Emma O'Donnell. Oh, nice cross. Oh, nice catch by the uh, the um, Sharon goalie. Captain Emma O'Donnell, Captain Emma Pereira, and Allie, Allie Byron. Byron. I was gonna say Shazinski because she's the spinning image of her sister. Her sister, oh my God, her mother, Kristen. Mm -hmm. Another class of '90 shout out. Up, uh, COVID kick by the goalie over 50 yards. Shame. I don't understand that. I don't know what the purpose of that is. If you kick it over 50 yards, you spread the vid. I don't know. would be a COVID trip. I don't think that would have been called in the regular season. I don't know. Oh, Wendy, is there anything regular about this season? No, but... I'll answer for it. How about no? Ooh, nice laser in. Oh, they've actually gone into the only side of the field. Come on, boys. Clamp it down. Number four, Brandon 
Mauricio. Maraschino? Is it Maraschino Cherry from the movie Grease? No, there's no M. Mauricio, okay. Mauricio, sorry for my pronunciation. Great movie, Grease. Nice pass up to Kevin. Kevin cutting through two. Oops. Oops, someone's checking in. Would that be a sideline reporter, Wendy? Nope. Jamie, that would be a shame, um, a shame bell. That's the shame bell from uh, Game of Thrones there, Jamie. Wendy's class feels shame the rest of their life for losing to Sharon on Thanksgiving football. Terrible. Is that from um, Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones, oh, yes. I'm not sure, sure. Sharon would love it if a gigantic dragon came out and burned every single football player on the uh, field. Jimmy, now I'm talking football as in soccer. That's not going to happen. nice pass back. Oh, over the net. Because this is our house, Wayne. This is Moscato Stadium. Was that a field goal, Kevin? I didn't know. Is it a go through the goalpost? We could say three, but that would be the wrong football. Right. We could in intermingle it. You know, I have to say, these kids are starting to look very comfortable with the mask on. They're getting quite used to it. They're oh, very... no doubt. Oh, hello. Hello, Paula Heiko. Paula's running from the camera. She thought she could come up and say hello, but I guess she's not going to. Matias, oh, whack oh. that. COVID corner? No, COVID kick. Kick in. A shout out to Ricky Taylor for being our roving photographer. She's pictures are amazing. Sure. Oh, Kevin, I brought you a little snack today. It's a new, I won't give any sponsors out or anything like that, but it's a new donut from a shop in town, and it has a little spice to it, apparently. I want to see how you feel if you like it, since you're a spicy kind of guy. Speaking of spicy, I got a bunch of buddies at Wendell's right now. Not saying they're sponsoring us, but Wendell's Wings, oh my God. Now we're talking. I only like the little sissy ones. Got to go three, five, and fries. Suicidal I've, I've had. It's brutal, but it's doable. I, isn't the... The ones that I like, the little you're, garlicky yes, ones. Yeah, you're, you're the uh, sassier. You you really shouldn't be allowed it in there. Again, shame. Well, I've only gone once. Wait, more shame. Only gone once. More shame for your class. Shame. You don't even step up to the three fives at Wendell's. Mm, shouldn't like them. Trying to get a shot. Oh, wait. Uh, pushing it up. Oh. Yes, Jamie Gibson um, called in and said that that's the ghost pepper donut. All right. Thank yes, you, Jamie Gibson. Jamie did a fine job announcing the girls' yes. soccer game today. The girls did win. Oh, we beat Sharon yet again. First bite from our non-sponsor sponsor of Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Is it spicy? <laughs> Have a little kick to it? Wow. No one wants Seriously. to hear you eating. <laughs> it's real life, folks. <laughs> High-tech equipment. So it's it sweet, spicy? Wendy, but then in the very back. Get you right in the back of the throat. spice come coming at you. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine those two mixing together. Maybe we should open a donut shop. Special shout out to my buddy, Bowdy. He'll love this review. Heavy on the front, soft in the middle, spicy in the back. Is that the wine you're talking about? Wine's my life. Do you hear me? Maybe we should open a donut shop. Shout out to Natalie Fulford. She's a heck of a baker, as are you. Ooh, maybe I could make a chocolate chip donut. Fantastic. You, you, make the best man, you make the best chocolate chip cookies ever. So I don't know if anybody else, I'm sure there are many people out there that are getting ready to have their kids apply to college as November 1st is a big deadline for... But Anthony, just moving with the um, cross. Oh, Kevin wasn't there for it. November 1st is a big deadline. For There's Rachel action. Chardy's kid. Hector. I am so stressed out. I can't wait for this week to be over. Wait, I would have offered you a bite of the donut if I ate the whole thing. I love donuts. I'm glad to see that you're concerned how stressed out I am. He's my son, too, you know. I'm stressed out, too. I'm not stressed out. You didn't fill out the FAFSA. You didn't fill out the CSS I'm, I'm or whatever not, that thing is. I'm not smart enough to fill out the form. I have no problem admitting that. Oh boy. I for sure think he's going to. COVID corner! Oh, nothing. Oh, pass back. Can you get a crossover? Oh, he pulled it back. 
Dylan Couple Ooh. chipped it in. I can't see what number that is, but that Sharon is on him. Sharon Defender is yeah, on him it. like sauce at Wendell's. <laughs> but if Sharon yes. defense keeps getting getting close, it might get burned, baby. <laughs> they were on him. They were not letting him turn. COVID corner coming up. A little tappy tap tap. Happy Gilmore. Can everybody... Oh, oh nice cross. cross through it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's all right. Anthony's running. I believe that's Anthony. Number nine. Number nine. Yeah, Anthony. Number awesome. nine. Shout oh. out to John Lennon. That was not a COVID trip. Thumb that whistle, sir. Thumb that whistle. We're looking for it. Anything, anything? Oh, yes, it is. It's a nice corner. Or COVID is corner. Uh, is that an indirect or a COVID corner? I didn't see the whistle get uh, thumbed. I think it's a corner. There it is. Thumbing. Oh, cross oh, it over. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh Kevin. Kevin. Oh, nice defense by the Sharon player. I don't know who it was. Ten, maybe. A little too much of shoving there. That would be COVID shoving. You can't COVID shove. If you COVID shove, you might get the bid. Well, we just called it to prevent it. It's a COVID world. We, we just live in it. Once again, it's over a crowd going crazy. Everyone listen. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice stop by the Sharon goalie. That was a laser. Laser. Do we know the keeper's name? Well, I don't because I don't have numbers. It just says the goalkeeper thing. So it's going to be either Matthew Bauer or Elliot Potoski. Yes. Any of our friends in Sharon, check on in, people. Check on in. Let us know your boy's name. Oh, off the noggin. That's not a COVID penalty because it was an unintentional off the noggin. You got it. Unintentional, unintentional. I can't speak English, but hey. That's okay. Kathleen Whiteside is watching. Kathleen Whiteside just not checked in? Yeah, Kathleen is. Whiteside. Welcome aboard, Kathleen. Junicola's mom looking at us, waving. Hello. <laughs> Sporting a fine OA hat. Colin Milliken doing his thing. So I told the Hernandezes who are taking a cross country trip. Oh, Kevin. Ah. Seeing all the sights, I told them to tune in tonight, so I don't know if they're watching from there. Yes, RV. they were in Yellowstone. Uh, not Yellowstone. Yeah, they went to Yellowstone the day, but I think they're at... Um... They were definitely seeing Old Faithful, I believe. Oh. Anyways. So that means that they're back in California, eh? If you are chiming, listening in, Hernandez's, drive Rudy safe Robin, talk to us. and enjoy your trip. Hey, pass back. Sharon trying to bring it on up. Oh. Oh, that Ben Cohen. He's pushing. Putting hands. Grand Canyon. No, that's not the Grand Canyon. What do you mean? Grand Teton National Park. That's not the Grand Canyon. Oh, Grand man. Teton, Grand Canyon, 44, 45, wherever it takes. Well, the big difference is you see the Grand Tetons are a little bit grayer, whereas the Grand Canyon is that red clay. See, so you see, folks, you learn something new every day. You do. Kind of like the clay at Monument Valley where I, I became John would... Wayne. That's right. I became John Wayne that fateful day. And that's true. That was Sharon's actually attempting to get inside. Nice defense by OA. Yes. They cross the 50 yard Stop line. Good for them. Stop by Jimmy Keene. In your pregame research, you find out uh, what Sharon's uh, record is. Hold the phone, please, Kevin. Um, Kathleen Whiteside, conversely, is a teacher in the fine Sharon school system. She's she a phys ed is. teacher, proud graduate of Syracuse University. Speaking of applying, our son's applying to Syracuse, as I, mm -hmm. as I believe his fellow classmate, William Whiteside, is. I'm dying to say his nickname, but I know his mother would kill me, and I don't want to be killed by anyone's mother. Yes. Looks like they lost to Foxborough, but they t have tied the past two games. 
All right. They tied against Foxborough, and then um, tied Canton. Nice play by the Sharon keeper. That would be Matthew Bauer or Elliot Potoski. 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 Patutski. No, I don't think it's No, it's it's Patutski. it's now Patutski. No. Patutski got that hand in his arms. Put that ball away, Patutski. I apologize if that's a bad pronunciation. I'm just a simple country doctor. It's done out of love. No, I can't stand Sharon. Well, hated them back in the day. I don't like them now. But I do like these boys. Son. I do like these uh, boys. Shout out to all my fellow uh, teammates on the Sharon Easton Red Devils, the now defunct Pop Warner nope. team. Look at Anthony, the cost of getting it done. And he's crossing it. Oh! Picked oh. out by Sharon. Sharon Red Devils. Mike Avanovsky played on that team. He's the captain of the team that lost to Sharon in the O.A. Thanksgiving uh, ball lore. Mike was a captain? He was one of the best football players to ever play for all of I didn't know who the captain was. You know what's kind of cool, too, is his dad was a captain back in the day. Really? As was Mike. Oh! Oh, oh. good bid. Always oh, keeping the pressure up. COVID kick. Oh, thank you, Kristen Cohen. Kristen Shout out Cohen. to Kristen. Kristen Cohen roving up. She's waving at us. Another sideline reporter. There's Andy. He just turned 90. We had a great weekend with him. <laughs> I mean, to be 90 and have a kid that's a senior, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin has nothing on him. Thumbing the whistle, waving along. That's a whap. Ooh. Oh, just a little wide. Just a bit to the left. Double thumb of the whistle. Substitution. With this break in action, I want to once again say rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen, now forever. Also want to uh, relay the news that the music world lost another icon, Wendy. Anyone born in the 80s, anyone that, excuse me, lived in the 80s, would know this fantastic band called The Outfield. One of the greatest one-hit album bands of all time, Play D. Their lead singer, Tony Lewis, passed away at the tender age of 62. Rest in peace, Tony. And now Comcast is calling me to give a partake in a survey. I don't want to partake in a survey. I will rip them up a you-know-what. I'm just going to hit decline. I just declined it. It's kind of nice you can just decline. Remember back in the day where you had to answer the phone because you didn't have caller ID or anything like that? Oh, no. I used to hate having to call people's houses. Kids don't know how to do that these days. Yes, they're really socially um, negligent. I feel like that's part of growing up is that you got to call. Is that Jimmy Keen working it or is that just Dylan? No, that was Jimmy, right? Just Dylan? <laughs> I said it wasn't Dylan. <laughs> no, I think Never it's just, just Dylan. Dylan. Oh. Colonel Couples is going to come over. Colonel um, Couples? No, he'll. Oh, sorry. General Couples. General. I apologize. Sorry, Ron. <laughs> you just got demoted. I apologize, Ron. General. General couples will come over and teach you a new thing. Brady trying to move it around. Ole once hey, again Kevin. dominating the play. Kevin doing his thing. Oh, oh. That was a little scissors. Oh, I learned a new soccer term the other day. Nutmeg. I thought it was nutmeg. Just, yeah, I thought it was just between the legs. You know, when someone well, pulls spray some legs. nutmeg on me and put me in a turkey. <laughs> Back to Drew. Drew looking all calm, cool, and collected in that rockin' pink shirt. Hey, uh, seriously, though, pink shirt to recognize cancer awareness. Coach Barada gave a tremendous speech. I'm sure all you saw that in Eastern Cable End. This uh, game's dedicated to Lindley and Scott, who last, lost their courageous oh, nice battle. Pass. Thumb the whistle, sir. Cancer. Thumb the whistle, banana. Oh. Um, I'm sorry, when you go, go back again? I just said that Lindley Menard and Scott Dolan both lost um, their courageous battle to brain cancer. Um, we are actually going to be, for the next um, several home games that we have, both the boys and girls will be collecting money the rest of the season. It'll be donated to a cause called Wicked Good Cause. All right. Uh, they help families affected by illness or tragedy. And I know that they were a great help to the Menard family during this um, sad time. But this game is dedicated to both of them. God bless their memory. I know the Menard family is listening, so shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys, of, of course. Oh, 
Ooh, nice kick by Ben over to Kevin. Oh, oh Kevin tried to Pele it. I saw some Pele. Next time, Kevin, you have to go fully inverted and whack it with the other leg. Hasn't ever seen the movie Victory? Kevin's parents, Victory, immediately. I'm sure Kevin knows how to do that. Do you know how to do that, Kev? Could you possibly <laughs> I heard flip this. your leg? Excuse up? me. I did play soccer in Inchimurals, Westfield State. Let, <laughs> me, let me tell you. Oh, senior night didn't make me sad, but every game I feel like, oh, boy. It's been a long run. Shout out to uh, former Army officer Bill O'Neill, my buddy. He was the one that actually let me know about the passing of Tony Lewis of outfield fame. Oh, that's the end of the first quarter. A little mask break for everybody. I'm going to switch the fields. You know what? Maybe that that's must be why they did it. They let the kids take off the mask. You didn't know why they did it? I don't know anything. Oh, my gosh, Kev. We're a couple games in now. That would be well, obvious. You know, I'm looking for some of our football fans out there to give us the actual skinny. You know, speaking of the actual skinny, before the game, I had a very in-depth conversation with Coach Sean Barada. I asked him, Coach, what are you looking for tonight? He looked at me, cocked his head. I was thinking deep thoughts by Jack Handy, waiting to be given some soccer knowledge I can give to the good people of Easton Cable in. You know what the man said to me? What? I want to win. Ah. I said, thanks, Coach. Turn around and walk away. <laughs> Hello, Anakee Chucks. Jenny oh. and Yarick are walking back and forth. Count those steps now. Okay. We got Hector and Kevin on our side. Colin Milliken. We got Matias up top. Dylan Couples over there. Matt Nikichik in the middle, Jimmy Keen back, Brady back, and of course there's Drew. The Char oh, the is that Ben Cohen going? over there? And Ben Cohen over there. The no, Char no, I don't believe so. Look like different pants. Now number eleven on Sharon, that would be number. No, yeah, eleven's not on here. All right. Eleven twenty-four. It just says 11. Amaj Kordab, he's yep. rocking the mask where he did have the ball, so he pulled the mask down. That is within the COVID rules. Oh, is it? Oh. Number one, Aaron. He's limping off the field. I, Chris Bowdrow, our see what roving sideline reporter, reported that he's actually walking with Mark Taylor, another fellow class of 90. Oh, yes. Mark, I want to send a shout-out to all the Zoofs of Easton. Zuff is still out there. Shout out to you. Mark was a Zuff. I don't think he was a Zuff. He was part oh. of the buddy crew, but that wasn't a Zuff. I wouldn't say that they were Zuffs. Um, we Tracy. have a live call in Mark Whiteside. Mark, you're live and on the air. Shout out to Tracy DB. He's tuning in. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> we're not going to be singing tonight. Unless you'd like Kevin to drink some outfield. All right, well, hang on. Let's. Um, I'm going to put you on air. Hang on. Everyone in TV land, uh, Mark Whiteside, the former president of EYBL, is joining us right now. Mark, how do you feel about the game so far? i got to tell you, you know, I, I, we are a soccer family, but uh, the play-by-play -play and the televised uh, broadcast of the game has made me a huge soccer fan. Excellent. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm glad. And don't you love the game now, Mark? Uh, I do. The COVID corner is my favorite play. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I think the crowd is liking the COVID. The crowd is going wild, Mark. It's going wild right now. It, it's, it's fantastic. You two are the best thing to happen to soccer since the opening. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we'll say goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thanks for calling in, caller. <laughs> See, folks, we are an all-inclusive broadcast. If you want to talk about soccer or football, whatever you call it, bring it. Want to talk about Wendell's? I love Wendell's. Let's talk about Wendell's. My wife mentioned nutmeg. Woo! I actually have wings cooking at home right now. Nice. On a very low temperature. Last time I did that, so they came could, out great. So we could go back to our house and it could be burned, burned down. Well, people, I mean, back in the day, people used to cook all the time when you weren't home. But back in the day, people didn't know they were ignorant. Uh, Not that I'm calling you low. ignorant. Yeah, I think that you just did call no, me I ignorant. I never call you ignorant, ever. It's on a very low temperature. 
uh, any criminals out there, if you want to go back to my house and, you know, <laughs> hey, we got the oven you on. You can so. snack on some wings. Our guard dog, Tessie, will rip your you know what's off. <laughs> right. She'll look up from the couch and say, what? Do you have food for me? Have that. Okay. Have that. Nice oh, play. oh just a little high. On the ground, people. On the ground. So, the other night, for senior night for the girls, we only had four seniors, as Kevin mentioned earlier. So, we brought, this year we did something special for the seniors. We always have the, like, face cutouts, fat heads. But this year we did life size. And we brought the, some of the boys and put them in the stands. So, we had yes, some fans for senior night for the girls. Fantastic. But we'll have to give the uh, OA boys soccer team credit. They did come to show to show support for their yes. fellow soccer players. And there were yeah. some non-soccer players in the crowd outside the fence. Because remember, you can't get the vid outside the fence. If you come in the fence, you yes. might get the vid. Yes. Just saying. But we're so glad that we got those senior nights in for these seniors. Yes. Well, Woo! Oh, nice shot. Nice goal. Just like that. Nice shot by Matias Taylor. Matias Taylor. Speaking of senior night. That was a laser. Laser. Like a laser. Sharp the freaking laser beams. Can I help? No. Because you give a little more pep to it than that was. You sound like a duck. Go. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm going to say goal. Say goal. Come on. Let it out. Let it out. Let's go. Don't be a person that sneezes and then you hold back. And you sneeze, sneeze. <laughs> oh! All right, now you sound like a big duck. <laughs> That's a goal for those of you keeping score at home, one to nothing. Matisse Taylor with a laser. As hot as a Wendell's wing. The goalie couldn't handle it. Perfect. It was a ball spiced with nutmeg, Enough. as my wife likes to say. Enough. I haven't seen a nutmeg happen in today's game. What exactly is a nutmeg? So it's when... Another laser! Oh! Wide left. When the players are going and they kick it in between the defensive person's legs. <laughs> I thought it was a, just <laughs> an in-between the legs, and it's called a nutmeg. Uh, Jimmy Keene, could you verify nutmeg, please? Could you verify nutmeg, please? He played soccer in college. You know what a nutmeg is. I call It's foul. what? You just said it. What? See, I learned that the other day. Confirmation, confirmation. Good for you. Kevin, I, I just had to ask, why do you always have to confirm everything I say? Just making sure we don't give the good people of Eastern Cable the wrong information. I'm not. I learned it the other day. I got from good information from good information soccer from people. Who? Who's um, soccer people? Who are your people? Michael, don't give them up. What kind of report are you going to give them up? Michael O'Donnell gave you me that. You up your source. That's it. You're out. Mike O'Donnell gave me that terminology. Mike O'D. I said... Ooh, look former, at Mary. He was she a just, former tough soccer player, you know. I know. So our daughter Mary happened to get in between someone's legs, and I said, oh, we're good in between the legs. And Mike said, that's called a nutmeg. All right, now I know. No one's half the battle. Just yep. like my good friend G.I. Joe. See the things? I say I learn something new every day. All right, the banana on the left does not like to thumb the whistle. He's, he's, he's not a thumber. The other guy, he loves to thumb. Maybe he's the head ref. Well, the guy on the left can thumb it, too. He's a referee, well, too. Well, I know, but I do believe there's a head ref and then an assistant. Don't you have that in football? Uh, all I know is that refs really should not stand down and stand by. They should be thumbing that whistle at all times. Oh, what a shout-out to Paul Nigro. He's has joined us. Grampy Nigro? Yes. Nice. Grampy's turning 80 this January. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully he survives. We'll be going down south to uh, golf next year. Jeez, Kev. Wouldn't you feel bad if something happened to Paul and you just said that? He's a Saugus sausage. Nothing can happen to him. One of the best football players Saugus has ever seen. <laughs> the other day, um, we were talking to someone and someone was commenting about getting a dog and the other person said, no way am I getting a dog at these, this age. We're on our way out. And I'm like, speak for yourself. I'm not on my way out. She, of course, meant we're all on the other side of being freedom, doing what we want. Don't need a dog dragging us down. All right. All right. Well, when our kids but, go to college, but we'll, the, be, we'll, we'll be right back into freedom. Like we're the kids at home. No, but that's what she was saying, is that uh, we're on the other side. Right. But she used the so terminology. Kind of like we're on the other side of the field right now. And now always shooting. 
Yes. This used to be Sharon's side. They didn't, did not oh, see this crossover this field. Oh, oh. Would that be a COVID corner, Wendy? I think it was a COVID corner. No, actually, I think it might have been an indirect kick. I wasn't paying attention. So just I a COVID apologize. kick, not a COVID corner. Mm. There's a difference. And I was listening to Jamie Gibson for his fine um, announcing today at the girls game. And he was saying that if you want to kick it up in the air, it has to be an indirect. So see, now it's up in the air. So apparently as long as you have a second person kicking it up in the air, there's no COVID restrictions. All right. Any chance he called a nutmeg a walnut? Nope. It was a nutmeg. I was just wondering. Ooh, oh, and that nice was a nice chest. shoulder. That's a nice chest. No, that was a shoulder. Was Didn't a you chest. see him whip that his shoulder around? You can use the head, you can use the chest. Yes, but it was a whip around the shoulder. The, these kids are getting very good about sending that shoulder forward to adapting, get the same. Over, adapting and overcoming like that. That's what kids do. Oh, that was kind of like a backwards nutmeg. It, Kevin let it through his legs on purpose. Michael Heiko with a little bit of uh, extracurricular activity right there. Stay aggressive, kid! <laughs> Kick in by Brandon. Kick back to the goalie. Gosh, that makes me so nervous for the goalies. Back to Patootie. Oh, to Matt Nikicic, to Kevin. Nice oh. pass. Come on, Kevin, put that in to Patootie. Look at Over that. to Ben Cohen. Nice touch. Oh. So once again, these towns are playing away. Just puts everyone back in a defensive formation because they fear the Tiger. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad the boys have had so many night games. Awesome. For those working. Ooh, over. Oh, oh, oh. Whether you are still working at home because of the vid or you're back out in your job, it's nice to have a night game. not to worry about rushing home. Very true. Friday will be a 345 game at Sharon. Yes, so due to, due to COVID restrictions, we will not be broadcasting that game. No. But it's in Sharon anyway, so we wouldn't be broadcasting. That's what I'm saying. We but we'll be it. watching live on Facebook Live, OA Soccer. Hopefully we can I get a parent. I will be whacking a small ball called golf. Yes. Listening, listening, not mm. watching. Well, if there is a boy's parent out there willing to videotape, we will greatly appreciate it. I'd offer my assistance, but I cannot, as it's a 345 game. Once again, Wendy Cross broadcasting when any brother and Easton come on over our house and rob us blind. <laughs> oh, no, the kids will be home that day because yes. of the uh, vid. They're cohort A, so they will be cohort. home. Cohort. That's, I, don't, I, I don't know about that word, cohort. You could, you could use a lot of different meanings on cohort. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, there will be a kick in from Hector, Rachel's son. Back to Jimmy Keene, who passes it up, and Kevin's chasing it, trying to get something going. He's looking for the pass. A little... Kevin is really... Oh, oh, oh no one was Black there. Kid. Kevin is quite the ball handler. I said it before, I'll say it again. Anthony Costa yelling out some instructions. Oh, excuse me, Matthew yelling out the instructions. Yes. Number four, Captain Four. 809, 808. Jim Murphy touched base with us to let us know the girls won four to one over in Sharon. Sharon coach expressing, imploring patience. Ooh. Patience is a virtue. Who ever nice. said that patience is a virtue? What was that commercial? You remember haven't that? you haven't figured that out. Oh, I have no patience at all. But remember that commercial, Patience is a Virtue? No, I don't. Is that like the game of life? 
pay me lawyer salary. Remember that? No, but have you played life recently? I have not. The salaries that are on there. They're out of control. Remember Calgon? Calgon, take me away. So that was the 70s. The outfield was the 80s, though. What a great album. Play the... I defy anyone, a kid in the 80s, that doesn't know at least one song from that album. Sing some of it. Uh, it's only a very high voice. Yeah. You have a high voice. When I want to. Oh, nice pass to Matt. Negged by Bryce from Sharon. Tia's passes it up. Oh. Mark Prez Whiteside is on Fuego, Mary. Mary? Well, that's my daughter. You're my wife, Wendy. Sorry about that. Oops. Uh, Mark had a great idea for us. He said goalie kicks should be called socially distance restarts. I like uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. We can call that an SDR for sure. See, Mark? You should be part of the soccer world. Maybe well, maybe you can get the twins to play soccer. His twins played some vicious youth soccer back in the day. I used to watch them right down, right down the lower fields. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nice oh. pass. Have it. Oh, right Have to it. Anthony? Yes, nice. That's a goal, baby. That was a nice play by OA Soccer. Laser shot by Anthony DeCosta. Anthony just whacked that Pelota. What? Pelota. Ballon. Baboom. Pelota is ball in Espanol, Wendy. Oh, uh, okay. I think now, it's, Anthony DaCosta being a Portuguese descent, I wonder how you say ball in Portuguese. Very, very similar to a lot of Spanish. I don't know. Why don't you ask Any Siri? of our Portuguese friends out there, you want to tell us how you say ball in Portuguese? I'd appreciate it. Why don't you ask Siri? Siri, whatever her name is. I don't know what her name is since I don't have an iPhone. It's 2 0 here at Tiger Stadium. Five minutes left in the second quarter, or in the half. 642, October 21st. Ooh, 66 degrees in beautiful, lovely God's country, Northeastern. That's dropped two degrees, Wendell. Mm -hmm. Oh. Away driving again, and for the number two, fiddle diddle, shot. Oh! oh, just wide a little bit. Just a bit outside. Coach Kurtz throwing out some knowledge. Here comes Gage in. Rage Roger the Gage Gage. Frenchman. Again, I'll say it again. I would His not want. Beaming right now. I would not want Gage coming running towards me. Nope. I think I would step aside. Oop. Matt takes control of the ball. Up to Gage. Raising the cage. Get there he goes. Kid. There he goes. Oh. Push right through at it, baby. Colin. Oh, oh. Colin, they're just started. Just they're really a getting after right nice now. Nice try, Colin. Just had a clarification. Uh, pelota to me is just a general term for ball. However, I have a Rolling Silent reporter saying pelota is actually a baseball, oh. and a ballon is a soccer ball. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, where's that, Chico? Brad? Chico can tell us about the Portuguese. Prez has completely taken over for Bowdy. Bowdy's been fired. Nice Chester by Matt. A Chester. Chester. A non-head. Kind of like a header. It's a Chester. It's a Chester. And if you live in Western Mash, I might live in a town called Lester. <laughs> Chester, the molester. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. It's a kid's program there, Wendy. What, what was bad about that? You said Chester molester. You can't say molester on the radio. Oh, sorry. Sorry, fans. Sorry. My bad. Jimmy Keen just whapped that with a lot of violence. I don't think he liked that ball. He, he was said, like, get it out of my way. Get, get out, out of here. Face. Get out of here. The referee close to us will not thumb that whistle. I'm, I'm just waiting for it. He just refuses to do it. Now you have me nervous about the oven. Well, you know, I... 
It's fine, Wendy. You're one heck of a cook. Oh, a little too much. Ooh, nice throat. Is Mary Doll back from the game yet? She should be. Wonder if she's here. Maybe Coach Q's Oriole Gnome can once again invade our, our house and just check it out. No, I'm sure it's okay. Way to be aggressive, Ben. Had a boy, Benny boy. Coach, I just want to win Barada, screaming out some uh, knowledge and some venom from the sideline. I like a little bit of venom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get the boys going. Ooh. Drew makes a little save. Drew Nichols, a nice save. Sure, she put a little bit of pressure on the boys there, Wendell. Oh, oh, that was definitely. A oh, my man, the that near was, side just thumbed that whistle. That was definitely a COVID push. Even I could call that. Look at some hometown reference, please. You got this, Drew. Drew's commanding his wall, although we can't have walls in the COVID world. Not a walnut. They Not have to be man. a social distance wall. Cover up those walnuts. Nice. Nice, Drew. Nice. Nice easy save for Drew. Raising the cage, getting that ball. Here comes Colin Milliken down the field. Pass over to Ryan Ventura. Oh, nice, nice shot. Nice save by the Sharon goalie. The Patutsky said, give me that ball. Or it might be Bauer. Is it Phil Bauer from Stoughton fame? No, like Bauer, like the the clothing. The hockey. Yeah, okay. it's definitely spelled the Bauer way. Yep. The hockey equipment. Bauer, you see part of the Kraut line in the 1920s for the Boston Bruins. Milt yeah. Schmidt, Bauer, and I can't remember the third one. Gallagher, if we're out there, Pete Gallagher, give me the third name on the Kraut line, please. Thank you. Sharon getting a little bit Ooh, of a little shot. There you nice. Go. Nice positioning by Drew. He grabbed that like Joey Douglas at Wendell's right now, grabbing every wing in his way. I repeat, Wendell's is not a sponsor. I'm just saying they have tremendous wings. It's all about the sauce. So will you give Kelly Holmes a thumbs up on the ghost pepper donut? Yes. Oh, donut. Kelly Holmes. Yes. The Dunkin' Donuts fame. Nice work there, Kelly. I can legit say it was a little bit spice. I liked it. Kelly and Rocco Holmes, another member of 1991. Yes. Be Kelly Jackson back then. May Holmes, fine soccer player for the girls team. And my godson, Ethan. Better known as the Duke. Budding baseball player. Ooh, that was the end of the half, That'll Kevin. We half missed time. that. That'll be half. All right, we are back for the second half here at Tiger Stadium. We are it back, is. and I want to thank no one for the help about the crowd line. Uh, my lovely bride said, ask Siri. So I asked Siri. Oh, hello, General. General, there you are. No, no, see, Ron, my wife called you a colonel. Sorry. Sorry. I said you were a general, but here we are. Lovely Gretchen Taylor. Couples is here. Another graduate from OA couple. High School. I mean, OA. Yeah. OA High School, all brains. You graduated from OA, too. So I want to clarify the crowd line was uh, center Milt Schmidt, left wing Woody Dumart, and right wing Bobby Bauer. There goes Matthias Taylor. Interestingly oh. enough, Bauer became the Evan, creator it's your of Bauer hockey equipment, as Wendy alluded to. All right, Kevin, it's your favorite time of the night. It's the COVID corner. Ah, oh, oh, oh. right in his Patutski. Nice oh. save, buddy. And oh, number honey. two, if he gets number two, and he gets a three, money. What do you Ooh, call it if someone scores three goals and one Ooh, game? Money? I think that was a COVID shove. 
There well, you, you go. It was a COVID show. You get three goals, whether it's hockey or soccer. It's a hat trick. A hat trick. You know, COVID law keeps saying don't touch your nose, but man, I can't stop scratching my nose. I know it's a big one, but man, oh man, thank God for this vivacious instant hand sanitizer. It's in our booth. Not that they're a sponsor, but it's in our booth again. <laughs> when he hit this Hello, he hit Tommy. The sanitizer so hard, she absolutely wrecked me. Hit me on the arm, finger. Well, now you're all sanitized. Ooh. Oh, will we kicking it? Oh. Oh, wait, keeping the pressure up. Wow, we have a goalkeeper change. Brendan Cross, number zero, is now in net for the mighty All Rams Tigers. John Zales, one of our friends, just got texted in, said he could have given me the full crowd line. Well, you're too late, John. Too late. Kind of like with Nurse Diesel in High Anxiety. If you're too late for dinner, you ain't getting any fruit cup. Aaron Silver just joined us tonight. Hello, Aaron. Again, not so much a soccer family, baseball family. We're, the baseball fan, the baseball We're bringing player, yeah. everybody in to join the soccer community. I think this is a great thing that everybody gets to watch these games. Griff is currently enjoying the PO lifestyle. The what? PO. What's PO? Pitching only. Pitching. He's a good pitcher. Okay, this looks like it's going to be an indirect kick. Nice. Oh. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh. Wide right. Shout out to the Giants. Super Bowl 25 there. champions. All about the Giants way. It all goes back to the New York Giants. Mm -hmm. Who won the other day, you know? Rousing 1.1 over the mighty team from Washington. I didn't say Redskins. I said team from Washington. Redskins offends people. Kind of like Uncle Buck's hat. Ooh. That that hat in Uncle Buck, it just, it just offended people. It does. It's some angry. One pass. Right to, oh! Nice defending by Sharon. Well, that looked like a COVID hit to me, Wendy. Why the, Why isn't the whistle being thumbed? I think that was all bulk, yeah. We saw an all-way player flying. Erin gave us a clapping sign and a good luck with the soccer ball. So cute emojis. Thank you, Erin. I like it. Oh, bail the slide, but the miss. Oh, here it comes. Sharon actually penetrating the all-way area. Not again. We're just having a tough time getting by that defense. There goes Kevin. Ooh. All ball. Another chest. Not ahead, but a chest. Over to Hector. And Grant Pinago just informed the uh, greater public that Up he has Matias. a popsicle headache. Oh, freezer. What they call it? Freezer burn? He said a popsicle headache. I know, but what is that called? Well, uh, it's like a freezer burn. It's not freezer burn. It's a... When you're like a slush puppy and you I drink know. it it's way too fast, a... it's a brain... Brain not... freeze. It's brain a brain... freeze. I, I was going to say brain fart, but no. that wouldn't be nice to say. It'd be a brain freeze. 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 Brain freeze. Well, we feel like oh. have a shot. Oh, 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 oh. What a shot. Nice goal. And that would be... I think that's Colin Milliken. Yes, Colin Milliken with his goal. He zigged, Sharon zagged, he zipped it in. Oh, Kevin, that is so creative. And just like, hey, listen, I made chicken for us last night. And what you do is you take an egg, you Dude, slap the chicken breast on, on the egg, slap the other side, then put the bread on. You make. Then you put the bread on. You make two dinners. Two nights in ever. a row I cooked dinner. Two nights in a row. Two nights cooked. ever. I'm very, very, and, and I'm want, a woke person, Wendy. I'm woke. Uh, you want all the praise. Forget about all the 363 other days of the year. You are the best cook ever. Okay. Ladies. Hey, show it to Lisa Prayer. Lisa is watching us now. She tuned in just when halftime began. But Lisa, how you doing? Proud mother of Emma Prayer, the captain, co-captain of the OA Girls. Yes. She's not a proud mother of Reese Pereira and Duncan Pereira? Well, this is about her daughter, Senior, right now. Oh, okay. Sorry about Reese that. Reese is also our girl. She's so oh! with our friend Mary. And Carrie Feeney is chiming in. She was listening. My friend from work. Ah, all right. That's right. Haynes. Haynes Construction. Not a sponsor. Just saying where my wife works. Okay. 
Christian Heichel rocking the blue mask, coming to watch his brother play. How did JV do today, kid? Oh, you hurt, right? He's injured. He's on the injured list. And here's Dylan Couples moving the ball around. Over to Kevin. Another extremely classic match. So when he says you call his father a colonel, you can call Dylan the Colonel Couples. All right. Oh! Easy. Oh, just a little high by Colin. Keep it on the ground, sir. On the ground. You could say DCC. Dylan Colonel Couples. Okay. I'm for it. So, I mean, who's higher than general? The president? Well, there's four steps to a general. Brigadier, major, lieutenant, and general general. Is he a general general or is he? Oh, dear gosh. Please. Well, as enlisted, Marine Corps, you have certain military knowledge. So mm -hmm. be my little general, brigadier, major, lieutenant. I'm sorry, I missed what one is. What is he? He's a brigadier general. Brigadier. General! Brigadier general, correct? Oh, nice defense. Yes, I am correct. Brandon B, looking for the ball. He loves the defense. Ooh, giving some instruction. Fantastic. And here's Anthony DaCosta, head of the COVID kick in to Ben. Going like gloves. Oh. See, now we have the ref on this side who likes to thumb the whistle. He's, he's a thumber. The other guy, not a thumber. Mm. Barely any, barely any comment. Here's Matias running up to challenge the defense. Stopped by... Oh, 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 oh! Great run, nice save, but... Much like John Carroll was about Chris Boudreaux, he was very disappointed that OA didn't score that goal. Kevin, I can't see. Is that Joey Carney that's in? Is that number 14 way over there on the side? Oh, I have my glasses on. Do you expect my glasses to work and actually see them? Of course, I'm kidding. Well, the one that's kicking in. My glasses rule. Is that number 14? Is that freshman Joey Carney? I don't believe so. No. Morgan, is that your son that's out there playing? No, I'm going to say no. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, oh, no, I'm sorry, I was with the wrong kid, no, that's, that's not Joey. That's no, oh, and he's gonna, oh, 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 Joey Carney. There's a nice stop by the Sharon goalie. Right in his Patuski. You know, when I say Patuski, I think of Ivan Putski. Of WWF fame in the 1970s. Oh. I wouldn't have any idea who that is. Me and Gene Orkin used to talk about the uh, Polish power. And he gave a hard punch. It was outlawed. By Commissioner Gene Cunning. Is there even any wrestling? I bet wrestling can't happen in COVID. No, wrestling is uh, purely entertainment right now. It's a joke. Back when we were kids, at least you could. I know, but. No, once they became Sorry. WWE, they admitted that it wasn't real. Really? Yeah. Wow. This is a puss. McMahon's all about the money. Oh, oh God, God, get it out. Nice defense. Hey, by good the way. job. And so, get that out of my life and I'll put it away. There you go. Go. Some direction by Matias's dad Matias on the side. He's making some comments on the side. I like it. He's the loudest guy here, OA crowd. Step it up. <laughs> crowd, I can't hear you. There it is. Oh, there's Kristen calling. There we go. Come on, Jesse. Step it up. Proud dad wants his son to score a second goal. I give it to him. Jesse Keene being very quiet, uncharacteristic of her. Go the corner. Come on, Kevin. Oh. Thumb that whistle. Coach Brada looking for the call. Looking for an answer. We'll say it's an indirect. 
You know, when uh, Coach Frost said it happened in the box, it should be a penalty kick. COVID COVID. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, nice stop. Uh, color comes here. Number. Right. What do you want me to tell you? Thank you. You don't listen to us for the soccer, soccer knowledge, for sure. COVID corner. Brent, I'm telling you, he's doing so well, the ball hasn't even come near him yet. Exactly. Thumbs up, Brendan. Keep it up, Brendan B. COVID corner. Put it in. Oh, oh that's a nice, nice save. save. Oh, back down. Sharon Gold with a nice oh, save. Get that, that, was that an kick on it. Very nice. Nice job, buddy. Good save, keeper. What's your name? Either Elliot or a Matthew. Elliot or a Matthew, yep. Come on, someone in Sharon Land, check in. Let us know. We'd like to know who we're cheering for. Well, I'm not cheering for him. I'm saying he's doing a good job. I'm cheering for him. Oh, you're so nice. When you are such a mother. I am. As only a mother could say. Oh. Just a little bit too much. Okay. Up to Oh, Kevin, nice touch. Oh. Get that ball, Kevin. Kevin, get there. Can he get there? Kevin, Can look at him. Pass or shoot? Oh, oh he's got to shoot that ball. That's wow. a nice goal by Kevin. Nice goal by Kevin. Nothing you can do about that, Sharon Goalie. Kevin Nothing Lewis just that. took care of business on that. That was nice hustle by Daniel to get back. That was Sharon, a uh, defender? Yes, it was. That makes it 4 to nothing, Wendy, with 7.51 to go in the third quarter. Kevin Lewis used some speed and whap! Nailed that soccer ball. Yeah, that was another laser. Calm, cool, collected. Laser. Uh, we also found out that in Portuguese it's ball. I don't know. Get it right. Ball. 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 It's, ball. Can't you just say ball then? It's ball. Like, it's, like ball. it's like they have a long O. Ball. Like Come on, ref. Don't thumb that. It's a simple trip. It's a COVID trip. And it's our ball, so we're okay with that. Great ball. call, ref. Great call. <laughs> four goals, four different players. you got to love that win. That's called spreading the wealth. Yes. Ooh. Oh, man. Nice Matthew try. had nice too try. much nutmeg on that. Bull. Or bull. 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 I like pelota. Although, how can you even read that handwriting? Because I'm a doctor. I wish you were a doctor. I'm a doctor of S. The doctor of wine. You do make people feel good. Excuse me, folks. My father's calling me. Gotta take this call. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. It was a direct kick. I don't know what the call was. Okay, over to number 17. Ooh, stopped by Brady DeVos. Nice stop by Brendan Cross. Nice save by Brendan Cross. Back to my father. Over to Kevin. Kevin launching it. Matias, can he get there? Oh, almost. Oh, can he save it? Holy smokes, that kid is fast. That was great effort by Matias. Oh, it's a COVID corner. Kevin's missing the COVID corner. No, oh, maybe it's not COVID corner. Oh, no. It's a goal kick. Coach Barada making some subs. Just coming in. Felipe. Sharon trying to 
to get something going here. Passes the ball around. Having great movement. Brady kicks it out. Okay, kick in by Sharon. Ben stopping. Okay, it's a free kick in. Easton trying to do their COVID wall, social distance wall. Well, try to get with some words of wisdom. Tell us, goalie to be ready. Now, wouldn't that number two be offsides there, or a seven on Sharon that's way ahead of everybody? Oh, no, because someone's back in the net. And it is wide. Wide right. Oh, Erin Gianni has chimed in. Hello, Erin. Oh, Aaron. G Man's mom, my original is, soccer team back in the day, the Golden Bears. Is Ed watching too? Hello, Ed and G Man. John Carroll, yet again, being a reference, his son, the monster, mm -hmm. played for the Golden Bears. Yes. Nice maneuver by Ben. My girl, Grace, capital R, Simone, playing. Played for the Golden Bears. Three minutes left okay. in the third quarter. Sharon's putting the pressure on. Brady kicks it on up. Here comes Felipe. Yes. Dylan, passing it up. 22. Is Jared Goldman. Jared Goldman, a senior That's back time. in. Nice. Over to Jimmy. Coach Parada doing the right thing, letting all the boys play. Welcome, Jennifer Mar Mara. Maria. Maria. Nice play by Ben Collins. Aaron gave a cheer out for Golden Bears. Nice. Do you remember you had that drum, how obnoxious oh you were? God, was was that the song? drum? Was, was that the song? drum year for the Golden Bears? Kevin? The Golden Bears? Uh, Golden Bears was, yes. That was, no, that was the second oh. year. Oh, second boy. Year. Oh, boy. Oh, good. The goalie comes out to attack. Fluffs them. Good work, so the shot is, goes wide. Well, we're blessed to have two quality goalies. Nice, Kevin. Ooh, another. Do you see how he just chips that over someone's head? I wish I had talent like that. Ooh, and he zigs and he zags, Kev. Some zig He's fiddling, oh. diddling, zigging, and zagging, Wendy. Good work. Yes. He, he is wants, doing some fancy footwork. He wants footwork. that second goal. He wants that goal. He gets two. Then he wants three. It's a hat trick. I'm not throwing my hat. It's a fantastic hat. You love this hat. Those hats are disgusting. It's weather. Weather. Does anybody else keep their hats? Speaking the of weather, when it's 66, oh, 64 now. It's got even four degrees it more. It's dropping like it crazy. We might have to put up the AC back on tonight, though. Be a tad too warm for me. Well, our house could be burned down by the time we, we get back, so by then it might Please not be. Please stop saying that. That's not very nice. I'm just saying, I really. You know, it's on a Smokey, low. Smokey the Bear said, only you can prevent fires, forest fires, only you can prevent kitchen fires. Well, could someone chime in and let me know? Brady, nice boom, kid. They think it's okay to have a low temperature of 200. Matias yeah, still wants right. number two. Oh, fiddle diddle, get around him. That's oh. a COVID corner coming up, baby! What are we going to do when it goes back to regular play and there's no COVID corners? What are you going to do? Oh. Oh, wow. The crowd is my nuts on that Ooh, one. I there missed it. Audible. Whoa. 
That was the most I've heard from the crowd all night. That third quarter, all right, nice way to go. Could anybody tell me what happened? I missed it. Understand that, but you gotta follow the rules. I'm a rule follower. I want to give a shout out confirmation to Jim Murphy who once again updated the girls' score. Thank you very much, Jim. Four to one. I told him, Jim, that I already gave you. And I wanted to give the confirmation. Again. Tommy Carney walking away. Gave us a wave. <laughs> Fourth quarter here in Easton Land. Hector moving the ball up to Matias. 721 in the PM. Over to Colin. Over to Kevin. 64 degrees still one. You have me waiting in anticipation. I'm so excited to get the update on the temperature going down one degree at a time. Wendy, well, after 21 years, it's amazing you're still waiting in anticipation. Mm. COVID kick and a whap. Matthew. Oh, how oh, much? Oh. Almost. Is that Anthony the Costa that just missed? Yes. Searching for goal number two. He wants that hat trick. Kind of like when you drive by a bread factory. You smell that bread. You want that bread. You need that bread. Nothing will stop you if you don't get that bread. Kind of like a soccer goal. Sure. Oh, number nope. one just missed it. Up to Dylan. 19 of Sharon. Over Brady Daler to Jeffrey. I'm not even going to attempt to say your last name. Sorry. Jeffrey Zhang. Right? X I A N G. I'd say it's Zhang. I don't know, but I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> We're not saying it wrong. We're announcing the, the, the kid's name. I know. I guarantee you, Mr. and Mrs. Zhang are fired up right now. It's kind of like when they try to say. Matt Nikichik's last name, and it's Nikichuk. Yeah, but we're giving Matthew some love. I, but I said Matthew. His mom's watching. She knows who Matthew is. Well, this is this is God's country. I mean Jeffrey. I'm this sorry, is, I didn't is, even get that right. This is God's country's broadcast. It's not Sharon's broadcast. Well, but they're listening. Weird. Well, they're not checking in. We've been asking for some check-ins, and they're not doing it. I want to know the goalie's name. I've been calling the kid Patootie. <laughs> or Elliot. Are getting after it? Or Matthew. Now, see, I thought he was going to get the whistle thumbed on him. Why? Because I thought that wasn't kicked uh, back to him, but I was wrong. It was actually a shot, technically speaking. Those goalies know when it's pushed, kicked back or not. It's Brady. I can't believe Brady's wearing a long sleeve shirt. Well, it's kind of chilly, Ellen. Speaking of chilly, it is now... 64 degrees in God's country. It was just 64 a couple well, seconds Well, you ago. asked the weather, so I mentioned. I didn't ask the weather. I just asked yes, why you know, Brady was wearing a right shirt. And they are completely COVIDed out. They're not outside. They're in their house. Mm -hmm. They don't want to deal with the vids, so I'm going to let them know what the weather's like. I know, but you already gave it, and all I was saying was, gee, I don't know why Brady has a long sleeve shirt on. I think he'd be pretty sweaty. And you... Had to give the temperature again. Because it's 64 degrees. That right there could be considered a long sleeve weather. Mm, not when you're playing soccer. I give you that, but maybe Brady's kind of a cold kid. I mean, I don't know. Maybe when you played sports, you didn't run around that much, so you weren't that sweaty. Well, again, I was a javelin thrower and a damn good one at that, so I was kind of a quick burst. Yeah. Unlike myself, who was a forward at field hockey and was running a lot. Yes. I would have never worn a long sleeve shirt. Nothing better, than but a maybe. Good, nothing better than a good lather that you work up when you're playing sports, I'll tell you. And the stink on your shirt. Oh, my Ooh, sweet Jesus. Here we go. Oh. Trickle it all. Very nice. That was my Dylan Couples. Nice job, Dylan. Way to follow the ball in. DCC. Dylan Colonel Couples. Sorry. Since you called his dad a colonel, now he's now the colonel. Oh, since okay. his dad's a general. That was unlucky for the Sharon goalie. Nothing you can do about that. I so, say it's grit and determination by the OA player. I already said that. I now it was a good recanting. attempt by the by the Sharon goalie. I'm just recanting and saying. Recanting? We're not playing Canton. Oh man, I hated Canton. I I hated Sharon. I despise Canton. Okay, when are we gosh. playing Canton? Soon. I hated them. But Sharon is our natural rival. 
Uh, Come with a whistle. We're playing Canton the week of the 26th, which I believe is next week. Ah, all right. The old Bulldogs. When you said a bulldog when you were a kid. I love bulldogs. Yes, you had you Pepper and Abby, right? Yeah. I knew Abby. Abby was in our life when you got married. Great dog, Abby. And he talked with a bulldog with that snot says she was the whole bit, but not snoring. as quite as bad. Oh, she snored. But there, it, was, it, was, it was kind of a soothing snore. It was a rhythmic snore. See that now? If a goalie kicked that, that would Ooh, be a nice slide out. COVID world. No, that wasn't up in the air. Petunia with a nice slide. They can't be up in the air. There he is. Got the ref screaming about a mask. Let them play, sir. Kevin once again flopping. A lot of flopping in the soccer. There's just, just, just no way around that. That's part of the game. But in the vid world, you can't flop because you, you can't get hit. Well, I know, but if you... Bowdy again shouting out to John Carroll. He's disappointed. Is John Carroll listening? Oh, just a little wide, Dylan. Colonel going for number two. One more and he gets a what? A hat trick. Not a girl. COVID corner coming up. COVID corner time. I think that's a kicking. Because they can't have a direct kick on a corner. So it's a COVID corner then? No, I think it's a COVID kicking. That is COVID kicking, all right. If it's a corner, it has to be indirect. Although, maybe they can kick it on the ground. As I told you, I learned from Jamie Gibson. To oh, put it oh. Nice. Oh, I'm lucky for the Sharon goalie. Is that Brady? That was Brady DeVos. The goal, the captain nice with the goal. Brady. Very nice. <laughs> we can't have any sponsors. We can't have any sponsors, although Chris didn't call it a great idea. The Cobra Corner could be sponsored by Corona. Dedicated, dedicated. to, I like, dedicated, dedicated. to Corona. Find your beach. She is. I know Mr. Banani has looked at me. Give a wave, sir. Thumb, oh. thumb, thumb, thumb the whistle for me. Thumb it. <laughs> He's shaking his head. He's a good man. Oh. I think that's got admonished. Mrs. Fritchman has out her fat head for Gage. I think that's got admonished. Did he yell at you? We're getting fired. That's it. Well, I knew it was going to happen, but hey, we're having fun while we can. Sure. <laughs> nice. Drag me down, as always. Oh, when? It's a chance you take in the good world. No, it's a chance you take being in the Kevin world. Five to nothing with 13, 42 to go in this game. Always setting up, keeping the aggression up. Colin. I like it. Save nice save. Stay safe. This kid's battling. I give him that. He is battling. Yep. That's a nice throw. Matthew clogging up the middle. Over to Ben. To Gage oh, Richmond. Gage just shouldered it. I wonder if they practiced shouldering. I would venture a guess and say yes. I know there's lots of practice of heading. Now I wonder if they compensated and changed to shouldering. It's definitely the shouldering. A little scrapple going on. Ooh, up in the air. Boys on the ground. Here goes Brady again. Oh, Brady wants number two. He's nice shot to... in. Oh. Nice try, Brady. Nice try. Seven thirty p.m. Twelve eleven left to go. Of the game. Make that twelve nine. Make that twelve eight. It's Matt. Oop. Good work, Jared. Here comes Keep Dylan. The pressure up. Brady you stops it. OA. A lot of times people will kind of go to Right over to Jared Goldman. Nice cross, Jared. To Dylan. 
Yep. Oh, damn. That's not a penalty kick. No. All ball. All but ball. He, but, he, but he knocked him over. I don't think with 6 0 that you would, the rest would. Nice pick up by the keeper. I think it's good that Ole keeps on pushing because in soccer, they can be the whole goal def differential. Mm hmm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you react every time. Everyone, my son is the goalie at right now, so anytime oh, Sharon think, gets I close. I think everyone knows the way you uh, react at this point. I'm trying to say it very quietly. Not that I don't have confidence in Brendan, I do. Can't play on the ground, sir. Therefore, the thumbing of the whistle. Colin can't play on the ground. Which I don't really understand that either. Why can't you kick it away when you're on the ground? Because if you kick it, you might get the vid. No, I mean, that's just a rule in soccer. You can't play on the ground. Like when you've fallen on the ground, you can't kick it. One of those crazy rules, Wendell. One of those crazy rules. Nice Here touch. comes Dylan. Nice, nice pass touch. over to Jared. Leading up to Gage. Come on, Gage. Frenchman rage in the cage. Get that ball, kid. Nice job resulting in a oh goal kick. How was that? Hmm. I thought that was off white, but I could be wrong. Ooh, we have a goalie switch going on here. I don't know who's switching in, Matthew or Elliot, Matthew or Elliot, but Well, whoever is going out now, that kid battles. He, has he some did. Nice saves. Good job, goalie. Well, he's a very good team and uh they have no problem getting after it. Anyone from Sharon checking in, giving us the uh, name? Um, Paul Duggan's wondering what the temperature is. He is? Well, I'll tell you what, Paul. I can give you that too. It's 64 right now in God's country. Oh, thank goodness it has not dropped down. PM. What's the temperature in Sharon? Can you Are you technical enough to figure that out, Gav? Oh. To switch it on the whim? This. Switch it on the fly. Sharon Mass is also 64 degrees. Oh. So I can find out the temperature in Sharon, but no one's given us the goalie's name. I don't know about that. Yeah, Gage is going. Oh, run, Gage, run. Kind of like Forrest. Run, Forrest, run. run. Ooh! Oh, my goodness. Someone took Gage down. Holy That's smokes. Okay. He's right back up. He did. He's like a weeble wobble. No, he's like a bumble. Oh, here goes bumble the shot. Oh, just wide. Bumble's bounce from Rudolph. Bumble's bounce. All right. Chris will be here before we know it. Oh, gosh. Can you believe that it's almost November? That's crazy to me. Your, your busy time's coming up. We won't see Kevin very much. That's good for you. It most certainly is, my friends. It most certainly is. No yelling at my house. Better for the urban rep, though. It's very can. Very consistent business, Wendy. Yeah. Not so much I just wanna... as nutty as it used to be. Lots I... of whistles, lots of thumbing of whistles. We don't know what's going on. I want to know what happened to your plan of traveling when the kids were older. That's what you said to me. Uh, that went out the window. I've been looking forward to that for years. <laughs> that went out the window. I thought, oh, I we will it. miss him terribly. Ever hear of, what is it? what's the quote? Absent makes a heart grow fonder? Yes. Well, listen, folks, I might get fired tonight, so they'll be missing me. Oh, they'll be missing me. Don't get fired. Uh, it's 66 degrees in New York. Oh. Oh, it's 64 was... degrees. A lot, a lot of family what's are going on. Okay. Well, Murata having his hands out, questioning what the call is. What was the trip? So Michael Heichel talks to him, saying, it's okay, John, it's okay. Well, the call's for us. I don't think he was coming. It's 54 degrees in Lincoln, New Hampshire. Oh. Oh, I saw a picture of people skiing at Loon. 46 degrees in Waterville. Shout out to uh, Skipper Bertram. House number three. Excuse me, house number two, oh. Waterville. Oh. Nice. Oh. No, that's Brady again. That's number two for Brady. The captain. The defenseman getting it done. Yes. He just chipped it over. That's another soccer terminology, Kevin. Chip it. He chipped it. It's kind of like golf. Chip. Yeah, but that's chipping the ball on the green. He chipped it over the goalie. 
Well, you know, but it's the same. When you chip it on the green, same it's concept. just a little lob up. Okay. Correct? Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Same directional. Mm -hmm. it's 72 degrees in Hilton Head, South Carolina. That's where I'm moving to. Six forty six left in the game. Ole still on the attack, raising the cage. Here comes Jared Goldman. He wants a piece of the action. Ooh. He wants a piece of the pie, if you will. Nice, Andy. nice little Speaking transfer pies, between Gage and Jared. I'm I'm, I'm talking oh. about pies. Speaking of pies, Thanksgiving's coming up. Yeah. Lots of pies. You know, what I had last year what? that uh, pecan pie. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's pecan fantastic! Pie. Pecan pie. Pecan Sally pie. Shadow. Pecan pie. Winter, I'd like to partake in your pecan pie. But it's still out your puppy gush. Going back to cross. Oh boy. Don't wait too long there, Bremen. Nice. Was that considered smart? I don't know. Yes, it was. That was a nice kick. He was he was he controlling it, it. Oh, that's he a nice pass right it. there. Here you go, Jared. Ooh. Oh, oh well, I that think one, that was a little shove. Now, could that be some sort of a goalie? that happened in the box? Uh, I don't know. Jimmy Key, that happened in the box. Do we have a ruling for us? In the in box. In the box. So, shot outside or right on the inside? No, I believe it's a shot outside. Come on, kid. Oh. This is Ryan Ventura taking Ryan it. Ryan Ventura taking it. Oh, a little wide. Oh, crossover. To across. Oh, a mask came off on the field. Number 23 put that mask back on. He was very quick to the draw. Where's Ryan Ventura? I don't know, but that one's on. He must be a freshman, too. Yes, he is, actually. Got some freshmen out there now. Excellent work. Is that Robbie Dobbins? That oh. was Dobbins. Yeah, that was a little handball. Oh, I'm sorry. I said Robbie. It's John Dobbins. My apologies, Johnny. To Ryan Ventura. Sharon's still getting after it. Was Jake Williams back? Jared attacking it. Chris Bowdy Boudreau, one of our original sideline reporters, urging everyone to vote. Just get out and vote. There's no politics in this broadcast, my friend. Well, that's why no I'm just politics. saying to vote. I'm not going to say to vote for Republican or Democrat or Libertarian. Oh, gosh. Or the PETA vote. I don't know. Whatever works for you. Boudreaux. Uh, Joey Carney kicking it up to Jared. Ooh, that was a little bit of a slide tackle. I don't think that that's allowed. That's illegal in the COVID world. Yes, no slide tackling. And just okay. Lisa DeVos is watching. What, did she go home? She leave the game? Her son has two goals. He's going for number three. What a deadbeat she is. <laughs> she's calling her mother a deadbeat. <laughs> Just kidding, Lisa. Oh, wow. Meanwhile, Lisa, I saw that you're doing a scavenger hunt. I love games. I am in scavenger hunt. She became a realtor, and she's doing a scavenger hunt excellent, for Halloween. Excellent. For those of you who is it only Is it only for kids, or is it for adults, too? 
For those of you who do want to talk politics, Boudreau underscore Chris. B O U D R E A U. Excuse me. I can't think. B O U D R E A U underscore Chris. C H R I S. Would love to have um, uh, some Democratic followers, but I say Republicans, Independents. Nope, we're not talking about that because I told you. Oh, oh Jerry, Jerry Goldman! Goldman! Jerry Goldman! Yes! Jerry! Another Woo! senior! Another senior scores Shout out to Jared Gil- uh, Goldman! Out of boy, Jared! Jared Goldman! 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 Yes, it is a teammate now. Classmate, but also a teammate. Correct. Remember. He is a senior, so I guess a classmate. Without class, there is no team. Oh. Ooh, we got the two-minute warning. Well, two minute where the class going to stop. It stopped. Remember Flavor Flav? Oh, he, he had a huge clock. Know. That thing never stopped. Back to jo- Johnny Dobbins. Johnny Dobbins rocking the karate kid. Now the show floor? That was it. Oh, and Gage has, Gage has stopped it. Raging the cage. Oh, Gage. He wants some. He wants it. I mean, Jared Goldman just drilled that. The ball came. He saw it. It was a big watermelon. He He saw it it. and took it. Kind of like Gallagher. Remember Gallagher? He had the big hammer. He would smash watermelons. No. You don't remember the comedian Gallagher? He smashed watermelons. He smashed oranges. Smashed anything. No. And Jared Goldman just smashed that ball like Gallagher. He saw the opportunity and he took it. It's kind of like in uh, Top, Top Gun. Commander Heatherly was under the hard deck. He saw the shot. He saw the shot. And he there took was, it. There was no danger. He took, took it. it. I have to say that's one of my favorite movies. Do you know our nieces and nephews don't really think that oh, that's, that's the movie. game. Oh, that's, that's the, the game. game. Oh, oh, great game by Sharon and OA Tigers. 8-0. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. See you Hope, next week. Uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. I don't know to find out.